And a trial is going right now for the Metro Fairgrounds. It is the future of the fairgrounds. The group Save the Fairgrounds is suing Metro to protect the uses that have been around for the fairgrounds for decades. We're talking about the flea market, auto racing, the state fair. Many of the fairground buildings have already been torn down to make way for MLS Soccer Stadium except for the racetrack. So News 4's Nancy Amons tells us, Nancy, the essence of this lawsuit is really parking. Exactly. Parking is the big issue here. Think about it. If you have 30,000 people show up to go to a soccer game, if you also have a flea market, where's everyone going to park if the flea market is the same day? This is what the fairgrounds looks like today from Drone 4. All this construction is for the new professional soccer stadium. But can the soccer stadium share space with the other events that have historically been at the fairgrounds, like the state fair? Is there enough parking? During opening statements today, attorneys for the soccer team made the case that the Save the Fairgrounds group should stop living in the past. The plaintiffs are stuck in what I will call a static world. And in many respects, their position is a reactionary one. It looks backwards. It looks back years and even decades. It does not look to the future and what is possible. Can you have both the existing uses and the soccer stadium? What happens when Metro's flea market falls on the same day as a soccer game? Does the flea market get canceled? Where does everyone park? Well, today the fair board's executive director said the soccer game could be at night, that the flea market might benefit by having 30,000 soccer fans shop at the flea market. Look at it as an opportunity that I could have 20 to 30,000 more people walking on the property and potentially visiting the flea market. There are going to be times, and we have that currently now with multiple events. you got to roll up your sleeves and figure it out. Today, we also learned the state fair may not come back to the Nashville fairgrounds. They're negotiating with Wilson County to move the state fair there. Now, the attorneys representing the uh, soccer investors say they're going to put on an expert who will say there is enough parking for everyone. The trial continues tomorrow.